Demovis theorem, which is generally termed it as DMT. Okay, Demovis theorem is also termed as DMT. So, which is the extension of the complex numbers what we have studied we know that a complex number z can be represented in the polar form as r times of cos theta plus iota sin theta okay so if the modulus that means r equals to 1 we can write this complex number as cos theta plus i sin theta in general which is expressed as cis theta okay cis theta c i s theta which is nothing but cos theta plus i sin theta so now if we extend this concept if we multiply the cos theta plus i sin theta okay if we multiply cos theta plus i sin theta with the same itself that means cos theta plus i sin theta okay if we multiply these two then which is nothing but we can write this is as cos theta plus i sin theta whole square okay which is in the form of a plus b whole square now we can write this as a square means cos square theta plus b square means i sin theta whole square i square sin square theta whereas i square equals to minus one we can write this as minus sin square theta plus 2ab which is nothing but cos theta into i sin theta okay cos theta into i sin theta and uh, we can simplify this as cos square theta minus sin square theta plus iota times of 2 sin theta into cos theta 2 sin theta into cos theta and we know that okay we know that so cos square theta minus sin square theta can be written as cos 2 theta plus i into and 2 sin theta cos theta okay the 2 sin theta cos theta can be written as sin 2 theta okay so that means we are obtaining it is as cos theta plus i sin theta whole square equals to okay cos theta plus i sin theta whole square equals to cos 2 theta plus i sin theta and in the similar way if we if we want to check for cos theta plus i sin theta whole cube okay just simply verify you will obtain the result as cos 3 theta plus i sin 3 theta okay and if we go on extending for the nth power okay nth power of this polar form of a complex number and we can write this is as cos theta plus i times of sin theta whole power n equals to we can write this is as cos n theta plus i sin n theta okay cos n theta plus i sin n theta where this is our d movis theorem this is our d movis theorem okay what the d movis theorem tells us for theta belongs to okay the d movis theorem is for the theorem statement here we are discussing for theta belongs to a real number and and n belongs to an integer okay n belongs to an integer or any integer generally integer generated represented with the number z otherwise write it as data belongs to any integer integer then we have cos theta plus i sin theta cos theta plus i sin theta whole power n is equals to cos n theta plus i sin n theta which is our required statement and this statement is called as de Movis theorem de Movis theorem 
now and uh, this is used to this demovitz theorem is used to find the roots of the complex numbers this is used to find the roots of the complex numbers now let me check for the proof this proof can be now just only we have verified the how the cos theta plus i sin theta all power n can be obtained we are obtained with the checking with n is equals to 1 n is equals to 2 n is equals to 3 and so on now the same proof can be analyzed with the help of the same proof can be determined with the help of the mathematical induction okay let for the proof what i am considering is okay so the given statement what is the statement the given statement i am assuming it is as let the theorem s of n equals to cos theta plus i times of sine theta all power n equals to cos n theta plus i sin n theta okay so this is the statement we are assuming it is as some s of n next for n is equals to 1 okay we are checking for if n is equals to 1 okay if n is equals to 1 in the statement what happens the lhs so the LHS is what is the LHS? We can write this is as cos theta plus i sin theta all power one equals to simply we can write it as cos theta plus i sin theta. Okay, i sin theta. Now what is the RHS over here? The n has to be replaced by one cos one theta plus iota times of sine 1 theta the resultant equals to we are obtaining this is as cos theta plus i sine theta so from this one we can say that the lhs equals to rhs so that means the s of 1 is true okay the s of 1 is true now assume assume the given statement for n is equals to k the s of k is true okay now we have to assume for any value of n n is equals to k the given statement is true then we can write the statement s of k as cos theta plus i sin theta all power n n is replaced by k equals to we can write this is as cos k theta plus i sin k theta okay plus i sin k theta so now by assumption this is true okay now by assumption this statement is true we need to check for the n is equals to k plus 1 is also true okay now for n is equals to k plus 1 now for n is equals to k plus 1 the lhs can be considered the statement lhs can be considered what is the statement of lhs cos theta plus i sin theta whole power k plus 1 and we can write this is as cos theta plus i sin theta whole power k into cos theta plus i sin theta okay cos theta plus i sin theta where we can write it as cos theta plus i sin k i sin theta all power k as cos k theta plus iota times of sin k theta into we can write this is as cos theta plus i sin theta if we simplify we obtain the result as cos k theta cos theta minus sin k theta sin theta plus iota times of sin k theta cos theta plus cos k theta sin theta and we know that cos a cos b minus sin a sin b is nothing but cos of a plus b now we can write this is as cos of k plus 1 into theta plus and we can write this is as i 
sin a cos b plus cos a sin b as sin of k plus sin of a plus b and we can write this as sin of k plus 1 into theta so we are obtaining this is as which is equals to rhs so that means we can write over here it is as cos theta plus i sin theta whole power k plus 1 equals to we are obtaining this is as cos of k plus 1 into theta plus i sin of k plus 1 into theta therefore we can say that the s of k plus 1 is true okay s of k plus 1 is true so by the mathematical induction by the principle of mathematical induction we can say that the statement s of n is true for statement s of n is true for all integers it's true for all integers of n okay all integers of n where n is an integer so by the mathematical induction we can write the de Moivre's theorem is so what it is what is the de Moivre's theorem again i am writing the statement as if theta belongs to for theta belongs to a real number and n is any integer and n is any integer then we can write the polar form of the complex number the power of the polar form of the complex number cos theta plus i sin theta whole power n equals to cos n theta plus i times of sin n theta which is the de Moivre's theorem for the ray what is integer index okay and we can write the same de Moivre's theorem for the rational index where n okay the same statement we are having over here de Moivre's theorem for the rational index for theta belongs to real number and n is a rational number then one of the values of cos theta plus i sin theta all power n is cos n theta plus i sin n theta almost where n is here the rational number the n is in the form of the rational number p by q generally the rational numbers are represented with capital q if n belongs to a rational number then we can write for every theta belongs to a real number and n is a rational number then one of the values of cos theta plus i sin theta all power n is cos n theta plus i sin n theta and for the integer index we can write it as cos theta plus i sin theta all power n equals to cos n theta plus i sin n theta which is the de Moivre's theorem for integer and the rational index and here we will see some important points we know that cos theta plus i sin theta can be written as cis theta okay we know that cos theta plus i sin theta can be written as cis theta so the de Moivre's theorem in the cis theta can be written as cis theta whole power n okay cis theta all power n which is nothing but cos theta plus i sin theta all power n can be written as cis n theta okay cis n theta where n belongs to a integer and uh, here the next point is cos theta plus i sin theta whole power minus n the negative index is equals to cos of minus n theta from the de Moivre's theorem just simply we are having the de Moivre's theorem as cos theta plus i sin theta all power n equals to cos n theta plus i sin n theta and here n is replaced by minus n only then we can write this as i sin minus n theta whereas cos of minus theta equals to cos theta we can write it as cos n theta but sine of minus theta equals to minus sine theta then we can write it as sine n theta okay so 
cos theta plus i sin theta power minus n equals to we can write it as cos n theta minus i sin n theta and we know that where n is an integer and another important thing cos theta plus i sin theta into cos theta minus i sin theta cos theta minus i sin theta is equals to simply we can write it as cos square theta plus sin square theta we can write this is as cos square theta plus sin square theta equals to 1 okay equals to 1 and the next we have seen the properties cis theta 1 into cis theta 2 can be written as cis of theta 1 plus theta 2 okay theta 1 plus theta 2 and here the theta 1 and theta 2 are real numbers okay and uh, from the above concepts we can write over here it is as what it is we can write it is as cos theta minus i sin theta whole power n okay cos theta minus i sin theta whole power n can also be written as 1 by cos theta plus i sin theta whole power n okay so here what it is so from the third one we have cos theta plus i sin theta into cos theta minus i sin theta equals to 1 so that means cos theta minus i sin theta can be written as 1 by cos theta plus i sin theta so which is equals to we can write this is another one as so what it is we can write this is as cos theta plus i sin theta okay if the what it is cos theta 1 by cos theta plus i sin theta can be written as cos theta plus i sin theta minus 1 and which is equals to minus n okay minus n and the resultant equals to cos n theta minus i sin n theta okay whatever the way we can write so cos theta plus i sin theta into cos theta minus i sin theta equals to 1 from this one cos theta minus i sin theta can be written as 1 by cos theta plus i sin theta which is equals to cos, th cos theta plus i sin theta power minus 1 okay so these are the important points to consider while solving the problems on the Demovis theorem especially the Demovis theorem is used to find the roots of the complex numbers in the next lecture we will find the Demovis theorem and analyze the Demovis theorem with few examples